With Board Pusher, you're able to design both deck and grip tape. This opens up a whole new world of possibilities, but how do you get it together once you've gotten it? Well, you're still gonna need the same tools of a metal pole or wrench, a razor blade, a nail, and looks like I've got just enough coffee left to get through the job. But first thing you wanna do is grab your grip, take this foam that you've got, so go ahead and set that down, put the grip on top, and before you even peel off the backing and reveal the stickiness of the grip, you're gonna to wanna to set your board down on it just to give yourself an idea as to where to place it. Now, with the ends here, you actually wanna stay closer to one side than the other because you're gonna pull the grip tape, you're gonna pull the grip tape back like so to get it to fit into the concave. And when you do that, it's gonna pull from one side or the other. You can't do from both. So you see, once you've pulled, it can even out. So, looks like I wanna do about a finger's width for this board right there. So now that I've discovered that, you can go ahead and peel off the back. Make sure that your nose is at the top. Again, I know this is my nose. This is also an eight and a quarter inch deck, in case if you were wondering. And I'm just gonna set it so that it's about that finger width's back. And I'm just letting the nose and tail touch it. Now from here, what you wanna do is keep hovered over it and just look at the grip and see how much space is on each side. It also helps to look down it to make sure the board's straight, which it actually looks like we're looking pretty good. Again, you can look at it from the other side. Sometimes that will reveal some issues. All right. So that's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna lightly test this just to see what happens. So I do that by sliding my fingers under the grip. Again, I'm gonna apply pressure on this end so that this doesn't move. And I wanna actually pull the grip towards me. Now by having that styrofoam sheet under there, it'll help the grip slide towards me. Again, that's pretty consistent there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start applying this by sliding my fingers under and just lightly pressing in the middle of the deck. So I'm doing like a pinching motion up the board. Again, it's looking pretty even. All right, so once you've got it lightly tapped down, you're gonna go ahead and move your foam to protect the graphic. Flip the board over, and now is when you're gonna give your solid pat down. And that is the hardest part. From here on out, it's pretty standard. Just like a normal board. Actually, you're gonna wanna raise your corners. Make sure those are down. And you're gonna go ahead, holding your metal pipe at 90 degrees, and give a scrape. Around the edge reveal the board. And this is a good way to see how well you did. I see I'm a little off up there, but it's not too bad. So luckily I designed this so that there's a little bit of wiggle room. 
However, if you spend more time in the beginning making sure that it's even, you can get it absolutely perfect. Because we've definitely had a few boards with uh, the racing stripes and stuff down the center that you know have to be pretty precise. So what I'm doing here is I'm just poking the razor blade through and dragging it around to get that nice straight cut using the board as my guide and pressing against it. And you go ahead and fold your piece of grip. Give a sand along the edge. And if you guys want a more comprehensive video on how to cut the grip out, there is another how-to grip your board, which I go into more detail on how to do that. But basically now we're just down to poking some holes out. I'm gonna give three little pokes. It just makes it easier to get the bolt through when I'm applying the trucks. Flip it back over. Give a push with my thumb. And there you go, we're all done. I also want to mention that these two graphics are available on our website as free backgrounds. That means they're completely customizable and you can make them say whatever you want. Ready to skate.